I'm Bernie from Crafters Companion. Today with me, I have one of our threaders pattern pack. With this one, you can make five projects in here, all different types of wallets and purses. Absolutely fantastic. The five patterns are, you've got a coin purse, you've got a travel wallet, which is what I'm gonna show you how to make today. We've got a wallet, we've got a clutch bag, and we've got a purse as well. We've used our threaders uh, suede fabric, which is great. And then we've got the hook and loop. And then inside, you've got all your space here for all your travel documents. You can pop your passport in there. We've even put your little hook there for you to put a pen in. So if you need a pen when you're traveling, you're going to pop a little pen in there as well. So it folds neatly, everything there, so you've got all your documents all together. Great for putting receipts, keeping receipts in as well. So that's what we're going to make, but let's see what you get in the pattern pack. So, like I say, you're getting five projects in here. You're getting the instructions. Now, with all of our instructions, we always make sure we use details and we possibly can make them. You're going to have what um, fabrics you need, what equipment you need. So, we've got 11 steps. So, it is, it's, not a, um, it's not a long project to do. It's really good fun. And you're not going to have any problems. But you will have this video to watch as well as the instructions in the book. And then the other thing you get in the book is, because you've got slots in here to put um, items in, we've got a card slot positioning tool here. So I'm going to show you how, we, how you use this when I get the fabric out shortly. But what this does is help you align all of those pockets really neatly and evenly, so they'll fit um, whether you're putting your credit cards in, your passport in, everything's going to fit in there. And then last but not least, you get all of your pattern pieces. So this is on a really good quality paper. You're going to cut out all of the patterns that you need, how many um, pieces you need. It tells you on here if you're using interfacing, your outer fabric, your lining fabric, fabric etc. All the pieces for all of the five projects. And then normally, traditionally, you would pin those to your fabric before cutting them out. But what I like to use is our paper pattern spray. So this is an adhesive spray in the, that you use on paper. So you're going to spray it onto the back of your pattern piece. You're then going to put that onto your fabric. Then you apply your heat from your iron. The heat from the iron actually act it activates the glue and sticks the paper to the fabric. So you can then easily cut around your pattern piece. Like I say, I always like to have my instructions there so I can follow them through step by step. And I'm going to do it in order of this as well so you can follow it at the same time. And what we're going to do first is concentrate on these side pockets here with these slots. And this is where we're going to use the um, positioning tool to get those nice and even. So you're going to get your corresponding piece. And in the instructions, it tells you where to line up the tool. So it says to align the ninth line of the tool with the bottom edge. So I've got one through to nine here. So I'm going to do the nine on the bottom edge of my fabric. And then it also tells me which line numbers to draw through, which is four, six, and eight. So I'm going to take my pen that I've got in my wallet there, and I'm just drawing through. So we've got those marked on here. So this is going to help us where we're going to put those pocket pieces. And you're going to line it up against the first line, which is the top line. And then you're going to stitch a quarter inch seam all the way across there. So next then, you bring the top of this fabric down, so it's going to be wrong sides together, and you bring it up and line it up with the next line down. And then give it a little bit of a finger press, or you can press it with the iron. So we've got our second line here. So we've got that lined up there. We're going to stitch quarter inch seam all the way along, bring this down, line it up with the next line down, give that a finger press, or an iron, and then we've got that one in place. And then we're going to do that again with the third piece. So you have three pieces for this one, all the way down. And then once you've got that third piece on, so you've now got your three pockets there, we're going to base stitch close to the edge all the way around the sides and the bottom. And a base stitch is a long stitch on your machine, just very close to the edge. And what that does, it just keeps them all in place, so that when you put your other pieces on, it's not going to, uh, they're not going to move. You want to keep them lovely and straight. And now we've got these two made. Now what we need to do is put the backing on. So if we look on the inside of this one, all of the lining here we've done in the peach. So we need to put a peach backing on either side of that. Now, 
The one thing with this, and it does tell you in the instructions that you just need to double check is, you're gonna put your piece right sides together on each one. And we're gonna sew a quarter inch seam down one side. But what we need to do is do it on the right side on one of them and on the left side of the other. So we've got those things. So you would stitch those. And then when you turn it over, and you're gonna bring wrong sides together and give it a press. I do like to press through, through my work. Um, it does give a better quality finish, whatever you do, and especially patchwork as well. So, I know obviously mine are just pinned, but you can see there that the seam's gonna be on this side on this one, and on that one, the seam's gonna be on that side. So that mirrors then my seam there and my seam there, okay? So that's your inner pockets there. And then we want to add this background line in here. I've got my background piece, so if I turn it over, this is a, the big uh, panel here, again, of that lining. And then all I've done is line those two pieces up with the raw edges facing out. So you can see here, we've got the seam there, and we've got the seam on that side. Now, the other thing we want to do at this point is put in our little uh, pen tab. Now, you can do this in the same colour, or you could do it in a contrasting colour as well. Totally up to you. You can put it on the left or the right. So what you're going to do is take your piece of fabric, and you're going to fold it a quarter inch over on all four sides, and then fold it over again, and you'll end up with this rectangle shape here. And then all I've done here is top-stitched all the way around the outside. And then you're gonna fold it over, so you've now got that little pocket one. I'll do the same side as this one here. So what you're gonna do is just tuck it underneath there. I know I say I don't use a lot of pins, but at this point I would say just pin that in place, like that. And then take it to your machine. And I actually would stitch over the top of the stitches I've already done on here. So the next thing we want to do is make this outside tab here. Again, with this one, you've got two pieces of fabric. You're gonna put them right sides together, stitch a quarter inch down, two of the longer sides and one shorter side, clip your corners, turn it through, give it a good press, and then again, give it that lovely finish with the top stitching around the outside. And then we've got the hook and loop. This is the hook, so this the rougher one is the hook or the hook, that's my accent. <laughs> this is the rougher one here, so I'm gonna take the rough piece, and what you're gonna do is about a quarter of an inch away from the seamed edge, you're gonna pop your piece on there like that. Now, this is a great time to use your fabric glue, so if you've got any fabric glue, we have the Kalal textile glue, is great for this. Put a little, few little dabs on here, that will keep that in place, while you take that to the machine and you're gonna stitch a rectangle all the way around to secure with that on. So this one, we're gonna put this one in about two inches in from the end. So you're gonna pop it on there and again, I'll turn it over so you can see the stitching on there, we're just gonna stitch a rectangle all the way around. So then we're ready to assemble our pieces. You then want to put your tab on. Now if we look at this one, We'll look and say, well, we want it to finish that way. So if we want to finish it that way, we want to have it, which way do we need to have it? That way. So face down. So if you're unsure, pin it and then look at it to check. You're then going to place your other side, which is your outside, right sides together. And we're going to stitch all the way around, leaving a gap. Now, where to leave the gap. So what I would do is I would actually leave the gap along one of the top edges here. And then once you've stitched all the way around, clip your corners, turn it through the gap. And then once you've turned it through the gap, you can then fold, fold the fabric in a quarter of an inch along where you've left the gap. Give it a little bit of a press. And then with the top stitch, you're gonna stitch close all the way around the outside edge. And that gives it that decorative finish, but it also closes that gap up at the same time. And then you're gonna put all of your travel documents in there. You're gonna pop your pen in there, if I can get it in. 
there we go and that's going to keep everything safe got all that the positioning tool in there you've got all of the patterns in there you've got this video you've got the instructions as well everything to make this fantastic travel wallet isn't it fabulous